In this video, we will try to learn the face detection by using MATLAB. In previous video, we have discussed about something basics of image processing, but in this video, we are doing something advanced, trying to detect our face on the image. Firstly, I told you about the advantages of this step. As we know, the face detection is using an artificial intelligence and to unlock the security of the smartphones like iPhone and many other brands. So it's very important and advanced te techniques and very simple. Let's start. Firstly, I am going to show which Im image I am going to use for detecting the face. So use the command I am show you, which is going to my file name and run. This is, is the image I am going to use for face detection. So the command used for the face detection is uh, vn dot cascade object detector. Put semicolon and put enter. Let's say it, this is equal to the detector. Now, I have to give some kind of boundary which is going to detect my face. For this purpose, we have to give the command boundary box is equal to step and uh, the detector, of course, comma the name of my file which is you, close the bracket, put semicolon and enter. Uh, sorry, boundary box we have, I have to put B boundary box. Now uh, I had to insert this boundary into the my image. So for this purpose we use the command insert object annotation. I hope I spelled right name of my file comma single quote and uh, the rectangle because i am going to use rectangle as my boundary box you can use circle uh, or or whatever uh, depending upon your condition again put comma the boundary box which we are you going to use again comma circle quote and detection again single quote close the bracket semicolon. Let's say this is equal to the Umar O-M-A-R. So I can easily show this uh, image instead of writing the only. So I'm going to show this. I am show Umar O-M-A-R which is my last file image and now I have run this no, it does not uh, detect any kind of thing because uh, I not give any threshold value. So try to give threshold value. Give the uh, threshold value. We use the command detector dot merge threshold is equal to let's say i'm going to give him the value of one let's say and then put semicolon now uh, run this again uh, is not uh, detecting the image it means we have to increase our threshold values so let's try another now we will try to give the values of um, two and now try to run it Now one is, is detecting my face, but there is also detecting something else. Uh, so we have to increase our threshold value. Let's say we I increase uh, the value of seven, and now run it. Now he is detecting my face uh, properly. So image detection is uh, rarely depend upon, uh, rarely sorry depend upon the threshold value. Uh, we can 
we have to follow these threshold values which is given by the uh, prescription by MATLAB. Uh, I'm going to show you this values. Just copy object detector which is the real tool and come to the command window, write doc, control V, hit OK. Then this uh, type of document is open uh, which will show the uh, every detail of the image detections by using cascade of the detector you can see on the screen. So go to the properties and here I'm for that's what I'm detecting the mouth. So for the detection of the mouth you have to use the value of 15 to 25 or upper body 18 to 22. So this type of values are depend upon the uh, threshold values. I hope uh, you like this video very interesting and informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe.